You can call in and talk about anything you want. 603-283-6160. With you tonight, it's Aria. And Conan. And as I mentioned earlier, it is almost been a full month since the notorious raid on the Crypto 6. Ian Freeman, Rich Paul remain detained. Uh, myself, Colleen Fordham, Andy and Renee Spinella are all relatively free. Free, freer, but we, not free. It, you know, we are freer at least than Ian Freeman and nobody. This is a big case. You know, it's obviously a big case if the FBI is working with this many different law enforcement agencies and the post office and the the IRS, and they're all working together. They, they descend on these five properties, one of which was my house, one of which was the studio here, one of which was the home of a freaking 60-year-old grandmother. One of them, the other one was two young 20-ish year olds. I don't know what their ages are. Young. To, yeah. All essentially pacifists. Raiding them, arresting them. It's a big case. One thing in common, though, they are competing with the powers that be, the establishment, and they don't want it. They don't want competition, and they're they've they've come after they've come after you, and they're going to make an example. They're trying to make an example of you. And you may be wondering how you can help. Well, there's a website set up called thecrypto6.com. You can use the number six or the word six, or go to freethecrypto6.com. There's t-shirts for sale. You can make donations. There's a way to donate via PayPal, some other payment methods that you can use to donate because the attorney costs of this are astronomical. It's going to be somewhere between $1 and $2 million total for all six co-defendants. Each co-defendant is basically looking at seventy dollars to $250,000, $300,000 just, just in attorney fees because it's a huge case. The crypto6.com is the best place for you to help out with that uh cuz we think this is a fight worth fighting. I mean and we we felt that since we joined the fight for liberty Correct. and financial freedom. Help protect us from further state aggression. The crypto6.com. Now, there are other things happening in New Hampshire and in fact this this hysterical Reddit post actually mentions the crypto6. I encourage everybody to take a good hard look at the free state movement. They run as Republicans, are dishonest about their motives, intention, political party, and have some pretty extreme views. Now, I take offense to that. I was not at all dishonest about my motives, my intentions, or my affiliations when I ran for office. You just had a lot of people vote for you. I did. Who might not have, who might not even have, have, they just walked into that booth. Yep. First thing that morning, didn't didn't have a clue who you were, except you had an R by your name. Yep. Well, that's that's their that's, fault, not that, mine. That's how it works. That's what we're dealing with. There's a bunch of dummies out there. There are, and it's horrifying that more than four thousand, because the primary voters are supposed to be the informed ones, right? Mm -hmm. More than four thousand primary voters went in there and filled in the circle next to my name. Got an R. They somehow missed Must be good. all of my political shenanigans before this. <laughs> but you know, and we've talked about this too, they they might have actually honestly chose to vote for you. I mean, clearly some of them did because there, there's no way by the time of the general election, there's no way that these voters still didn't know who I was. It's possible, but I'm, I'm sure. I, I, think, I think I would like to go to sleep every night knowing that all of those people wanted me as um, deputy, taking care of them, uh, keeping keeping the feds out, you know, uh, allowing people to grow certain herbage in their backyards, and not you know lifting an eyebrow over concerning you know nonsense like that. What else was on your list of things to do? Get rid of the bear cat. That would be a good one. Yep. Uh, th there were several things. Many of them, meaning the free staters, believe we should secede from America. I I do. Yes, indeed. absolutely. That's yes. that's number one on my list, actually. And, you know, my sheriff campaign is the number one reason that we should secede from the United States. You know, 4,000 people voted for me in total ignorance. I didn't, and I didn't do too badly in the general. I did better in the general in raw numbers. Yeah. I got like seven, 8,000 votes, something like that. Yeah, those those are your life. neighbor. Those are your dumbass neighbors. Can well, you imagine? Well, presumably, yeah. yeah. Could you imagine? So you got people on the other side of the country. Yes. Also dumbasses. Yes. Who are making decisions that will affect you and me. 
Yes. Everyone in this house. And it's like, what, 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 what kind of sense does that make? Yeah, that's Look horrifying. how big this country is. We don't do the same type of business here in New Hampshire as Floridians do or Texans or Californians. We do stuff differently. Why should a Floridian be choosing how my life is uh, treated? I agree entirely. It doesn't and make any sense. It's not just a Floridian. It's an ignorant Floridian. And, and my campaign showed this. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to happen, but my campaign showed this. It, it proved it. It proved it. These are supposed to be the informed, knowledgeable, politically connected primary voters. And these idiots went in there and voted for the redhead trans anarchist yeah. Satanist. Yeah. yeah, you know what? And then they did it again on the general election. This, this person's complaining about us wanting to secede from the, from the, from the, from the government, from that, the U.S.? That's exactly why we should. I want, I want us to secede from the city of Keene. Yeah. <laughs> Why I mean, can't I do that? Take the 7,000 people in Cheshire County and blow that up to the entire state of New Hampshire. How many people in New Hampshire voted for candidates they knew nothing about? And then blow that all the way up to the, the entire United States. It's too big. Lots of ignorance out there. And I don't want these ignorant people in other states to be telling me what I can and can't do. She goes on, or he goes on, several of them were just arrested by the FBI for <sighs> a money laundering ring. <gasps> now, that's... Is that's, it really money laundering? I mean, this that's is... That's the level of ignorance we're dealing with. The indictment is publicly available. There is no allegation whatsoever made by anyone of any sort of money laundering ring. This person who wrote this post doesn't even know what we got arrested for. This sounds like a headline reader. This is a headline reader. They saw some headline two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when they were talking about the, 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 the crazy people from Keene. Yeah, and that's all. And, that, and by the way, there, it was all it was all about money laundering. By the way, and it's and, and who who oh and you know here's a prime example of of the issues we have here in Keene. Uh, there's a paywall on our local paper. You yeah. get like four articles a week. I mean, I'm sorry, a month. And if you don't know how to deal with a paywall, you don't get to read the article. All you get to see is the headline. And I see it every single day. People on the on the, on the stupid Facebook, they the, the Keen Sentinel will share their articles, and everyone's like, "Sucks, sucks that I can't read your article, Keen Sentinel." Oh well, I'll just keep on scrolling. And I'm like, "Yeah, there's a way around that, but that's all they get. They get yeah. money laundering, crypto people, our crazy Keen kids." Money laundering. That's all they see. That's all they know. And they go on with their day. It's sad. One of the best parts of the sheriff campaign was seeing someone post on Reddit something like, oh, my God, this is terrible. New Hampshire isn't really like this. And someone else came along and said, oh, yeah, but this is Keene. Keene is absolutely like this. <laughs> yeah. We're so close to Vermont. <laughs> that's our that's our problem. We got all the hippie blood. So this person goes on and I just lost it. Hold on one moment. This person goes on saying. We used to think they were a funny non-issue. Back in 2014, Colbert mocked the free staters who were harassing meter maids in Keene. Now, how much do you respect these people if you're calling them meter maids? Good, po good point. It can't oh, be very much. It's because they're. They, I think they both um, uh, are. They're female. Maybe that's why. But there was a dude. That's a good point. You bring up really because there was a dude, and he and he got he he was. Uh, he I mean, was, meter maid is is an offensive term. They're called parking parking attendants enforcers. or some parking yeah. enforcers. But yeah, but there was one dude who actually quit because of, of his PTSD. <laughs> he was, I remember that. He was yeah. he was driven to quit, and I I think he was trying to. Uh, I think he was after the the uh, unemployment money. Myself, I think he was looking for to to sue the Keen uh, the city of Keene after he was. Oh, after I'm sure he quit. He was. I think he had a plan. They're but, not uh, so funny anymore, and they're in charge. That video, though, uh, if you haven't seen it, look it up. Uh, it's the Colbert Report clip on the Robin Hooders. Oh, I, it hate, is, I, I hate that so much. Really? I, I loved it, man. I hated that. It is exactly what I would have expected Colbert to do. Ex exactly. And I'm like, <laughs> I, we, I talked to, to, to the, main, the main Robin Hooder. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, was, have, I wouldn't have been willing to do it. And I was like, dude, they're going to make so much fun of you. They're going to make you look like idiots. Please don't do this. Yeah. And they all, they all, they like, uh, any press is good press. I'm like, no, you guys are going to look <laughs> like idiots forever. Don't do it. Because, because believe it or not, believe it or not, people out there, the Robin Hoods were very popular here in the, in Keene. Well, they, yeah, they prevented people from getting parking tickets. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. But they're, but the, the city of Keene hated them because they lost so much revenue that year. Yeah. They, they lost, sued the Robin Hooders. I think they lost like $80,000 in revenue that year. 
And yes, they tried to sue him a couple of times, and they lost every time. Well, of course they did, because it's obviously not illegal to go around putting money into parking meters. I mean, just think about $80,000 worth of tickets and fines that they were prevented from from handing down to us slaves. It was amazing. They had a lot of fans. They had a lot of enemies, too. And they looked like idiots on the Colbert. I'm sorry. they They looked like complete buffoons. Have you seen the clip in question? I'd like to know. I'd, I'd like to know your thoughts about it. I, I enjoyed it, but at the same time, I would not have recommended they do it. 603-283-6160. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative.